How are you doing, sir? Hey, brother. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Um, let me start by saying I've seen the first nine episodes of season five. The season is is spectacular. I can't say enough positive things. So happy to hear that, man. So Dude, happy to hear that. It's so good. Um, I, I just, I mean, it's anyway, I could keep going on for eight minutes just raving <laughs> about the season. But what I, I want to jump in, I think that for fans of your character, they are going to, pardon my language, fucking love it. Because <laughs> it is, it totally pulls back the curtain on who he is and Baltimore, and it really explores a lot. Can you sort of talk about um, what, you know, season five and, and what's going to happen? Well, what, yeah, whatever and, you can say. Yeah, absolutely. And I think uh, I'm so excited to hear you say that because, you know, you talk about the fans and the relationship that we have with fans. Um, the connection and relationship that we have with the fans of the expanse is unlike anything that we have ever had before. And so with, um, and, you know, what we, we've had this relationship and this constant dialogue as we're creating this show. And so going into season five, I knew that this was the season that really dives into Amos's past. And it was the one thing that I, that I was really excited to go to. And before the season five, we all had butterflies. I felt more motivated in season five than we did even back in season one. And we all, and we knew how important it was to the show because it's really the apex of, of our arcs that started back in season one. Uh, and then going in, in all the work that I've done, and I had the benefit of the churn, I had the benefit of um, Ty and Daniel to really dive in Amos's backstory. And so every, you know, every season I would go back and create all this in my imagination to be able to go into season five and everything that I was seeing in my head, Baltimore and my relationship with Eric and everything uh, peaches and, and all the experiences and actually see it and be able to, to work within that. It was, it was enormously creatively satisfying. Well, one of the other things about season five is, um, and, and I think that the fans might not be ready for it is the it's, there's a lot of location work and it's not on a sound stage and it feels very like, just feels bigger. Can you sort yeah. of talk about that? Yeah. I mean, I felt like, uh, you know, in some ways I feel like I was in a different movie. Uh, I remember showing up uh, my first day of shooting. It was, I was in downtown Baltimore. I didn't have my, the cover, Amos's coveralls that I usually wear. I didn't have the Rossi crew around me. I wasn't on a set. I wasn't on a sound stage. I was in the middle of a city with over, uh, you know, 500 extras. Um, and it was bigger in scale and bigger than anything I've seen before. And it was, it kind of, it took me a second to get grounded to really, un, you know, understand what story I was telling. Yeah, I, I think that uh, all that stuff, I would, do you feel like season five almost, and I don't know what the actual number, like, I don't know the real stuff, but do you feel like they almost spent more money on season five? Because it feels bigger to me. Yeah, I mean, that's a question for somebody else, but it definitely, it felt uh, way bigger to me too. I mean, uh, and I, you know, uh, we've been watching them to prepare for this after show thing that we're doing. And uh I mean, I'm I'm blown away at the the, the yeah. visual effects and the scale, the size and the scale, and the I just I'm I, th I think it's hands down on all levels the best thing we've ever done. Yeah, I I really again I think people are watching are like Steve, stop. We get it. You like the season. Um, what do you think would surprise people who are fans of the series about what goes on behind the scenes to bring it to life, if anything? Um, probably the shirt, the amount of practical sets that we actually use, um, you know, some sci-fi shows or movies, they're really heavy on visual effects and green screen. Um, but there's, but you know, the expanse uses massive, massive sets and the details and the artistry that goes into the, every panel is live and operating on the oxygen levels and, you know, the, in, in the, the amount that they put into it. You, you, uh, if you, in season or in episode four, when we get to the top and we see the damage, you know, of the, you know, I, and we I don't want to say anything, but yeah, yeah, I'm trying not to say, but right. that was all that's, you know, like a, a football field sized warehouse where they created all that. Yeah, and we're exactly. literally walking through the wreckage. So the, the size and scale on the actual practical sets that we use, I think, would just really blow fans, fans away. And uh, real quickly, something that we did on 
this show that, or this season that we've never done, you know, anything like this is Breck Eisner was directing an episode and he told me, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to have a helicopter fly over the water. It's going to, uh, the camera is going to pass over to the crane. The crane is going to lower the camera down. The DP is going to catch it as you're walking. And I thought he was kidding. And then when I showed up, he was on the walkie talkie talking to the helicopter. And I was like, how far is he going to go with this joke? Jesus Christ. And a helicopter flew over the water. Do you remember the shot I'm talking about when you get yeah. to Baltimore? Helicopter flies over the water, hands the camera to a crane. The crane lowers the camera on a wire and it catches me the whole time zeroing in on me as I'm walking through 100 extras. It was insane. I, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's bonkers. Um, but that's another example of season five. Uh, before I run out of time with you, uh, I definitely have to talk about season six for a second because while I am incredibly bummed that season six is going to be the final season, I'm also so thankful to Amazon for saving the series and for allowing you guys to end it uh, the way, you know, knowing that the end is coming. Can you sort of talk about like both, you know, being thankful for everything that's happened, but also, you know, what it means to, you know, knowing that the end is sort of coming? Uh, you, well, okay. So I'll start with this. I'm extremely thankful that, you know, I, I can't believe we made it this far. I can't believe and also, not only have we made it this far, the show is healthier and more, more successful than ever. And we're in season five. You know, it just blows my mind. And the fact that we got season six is such a vote of confidence. And we feel so thankful going to Amazon. But in saying that, this show has accomplished a lot of remarkable things. You know, uh, about, uh, you know, when we, there was a moment we didn't know we we're going forward. And then Amazon came in and saved the day. And then now we're at this point where we are now. And, and they said that, uh, you know, I, I, uh, <laughs> I can hear you being very careful with what you want to say. I'm, I'm being very careful, but all I'm saying is, is who knows what's going to happen after season six. Got it. I, I understand. I listen, I, I, I know I got to wrap, but I was uh, going to say, yeah. I, and I'll say this, this is, uh, the fans will not be disappointed. And this is, uh, this is a, a place of ce celebration. This isn't, this isn't sad. And, you know, so, uh, that's, that's all I'll say about it. 